Mantis here, and let's get right into it. We're going to be doing an OPGG review of Cat, clean, Cat Cleaning Up at EUS. Seems like a mid laner. 45% win rate, Cat. 58 on the Senna. 61 on the Soraka. Syndra. <coughs> Excuse me. 49. So, I just looked at the past 100 games on your OPGG, and I've noticed that you sometimes switch it up with these different champions sometimes you win but most of the time in the long run you'll be losing right and then you need to remove this and there's a point where you place lots of samara and you put some nylas in there and then it's just all losing right and then maokai is a fairly easy champ to play samara is not nyla is not so it's not out of the ordinary to get a couple wins on him if you're playing seriously to win right but still these deaths are a little bit high and then Aphelios 2011, like we got to remove, you have to remove these games from your, from your ranked history if you want to get to Diamond, okay? And stick with your main. Because like, I, I recently got Diamond on this split playing mid lane. I'm going to show you mine. As you can see, my main, I got on a hot, hot spree, 7 and 1, but I also mixed in different champions that I'm not that good on, as such as LeBlanc, uh, Tristana, throw on some cannons. But as you can see, I wasn't getting diamond in until I actually started playing Organa, my main, a lot more. You know, switching with the Lissandra, sometimes you win, but sometimes, you know, you'll lose more if you're not good on the champion, right? And then 13, 13 and 2. I didn't even realize that Morgana is 13 wins, 2 losses, right? But eventually what happens when you play a champion so much and you enjoy, you actually enjoy playing it and having fun and you're trying to get better at the game, you'll have positive win rates, right? And then you'll eventually get into Diamond because you're good enough to beat these players, I, I can almost guarantee. But you're, you keep switching it up, you lose... You lose your uh, confidence or you just get bored and then you can't play tilted right like as soon as you have a, a game where you go 8 and 11 just take you know just take a break right like don't play the 5 and 11 get 7 17 don't terrorize these games right because you, what you're doing is you're just harming your own lp right like if you didn't play these games here you know you probably would be emerald 3 right now right so and then for your secondary pick, I would say stick to support and just play the Senna. It should be it should be Katarina, Senna, Soraka, and you even have Syndra behind your back and uh, Oriana as well. But it should just just keep it super tight, right? And maybe there's a champion you play last split, Donas. But yeah, I would definitely just stick to um those champions. Katarina, Senna, Soraka. And if you don't get it mid, probably think about playing the Syndra. But also understand that like it takes time. For every other champion you add to your champion pool, it takes a lot more time to to realize how many games it takes to get the diamond, right? So that's why you have so many games in your Emerald 4, right? Because you keep switching it up and you're not sticking sticking to one champ. But yeah, that's how I feel about your uh, OPGG. We can get it. So how I look into the replays is I go here. Also, uh, TP ignite. I'm not sure if that's the move. Let's see if we can find any grandmaster. Oh, they're all master tier. Eh? And like. Just compare it to to you, and see see if you're if you're doing the right things, right? Because right now your Katarina's negative win rate, so you definitely need to uh, change up some things, right? So every game you go conk, right? Conk TP ignite. This guy who's uh, a much better player than you goes electrocute precision. 
every single game, right? And he doesn't even bring the Ignite, right? I mean, the Conqueror. So these are things you have to start start looking up, right? Start doing research on these players. And like, there's another one you can go one trick GG. This is a good one right here. And then go to Cat. So this guy, so the, the so that's a popular conk as well, right? So you just have to do the research and look at these players up, right? And like, look what they're building. Look, look what you're. Look what you're building and if it's the same if it's the same that that's great right if it's any different then you have to ask yourself why why is it different and what are they doing differently and how can i improve my gameplay through my build right that's one of the easiest things you can do and another point here you can go ranking here so this guy na is a challenger we can copy his id and then go to Go to the NA. Search up the player. Here. Try to find a more recent game, right? And an 8, 0, and 3. And then for you, since you're EUS, right? We just look for this guy, TN, TN, Juen, right here, this guy. And we can even watch his replays, right? Through the client. This is how you get better, right? And just try to copy these players, right? And do what they do, right? Even those uh, TP, TP, uh, but like you have to see how he uses his TP, right? Because you might be using it differently, right? So that's why you pop, pop into the game. And he only does it once in a while, right? It's usually flash TP, right? Some games, some games he even does uh, AD, right? And in none of, and in some games you just go tank, right? So you gotta switch. So obviously this is incorrect, right? But yeah, that you just have to really look at uh, stuff like that. And then overview, look at like your first death. Okay, how did I die first? And then uh, so apparently at eight minutes we we threw the game hard. Just FF. Oh, someone was trolling. Someone's AFK. You're two and five, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, kind of like looking looking at the overview, and then for the replay, go to uh your your side only, and then sir, and then you can speed it up a little bit, but yeah, you started started good by covering your entrance early into the game. With a with a Nautilus, I would actually prefer invading, just because it's so super powerful. And now now that we're in the client, you can see the whole map, right? And like this is un unguarded, right? If we walked up, walked around here, there's an opportunity to maybe even catch ka Karma as we're as we're coming down here as a group, right? It's just opportunities missed by not invading, but I definitely love invading. It's one of my favorite things to do in solo queue. I think. Invading in low ELO is very strong because players don't cover their entrances. Sometimes they cover the entrance, but they cover it half-assed. So I don't know much about this matchup. But we'll see how it goes. Definitely, I think you can be, stand you can be standing a little bit closer to Gnosis. You shouldn't be too afraid of him. Like If he cues you... Instead of the minion, it means he's not getting any stacks, right? So you're denying him his stacks for HP. And then right at the beginning, by pushing, because like it seems like you want, you want the wave to push your way, but when you enter the the lane, you queue right away, right? So you start a push. So this is something you have to consider. Right? You can't just start a push, and then try to play like a little bit passive. Start a push. I think it's okay to try to like uh, bounce the wave, especially early. Like right here, you cue the wave, push the wave in here, activate your passive as well. Miss the CS. Definitely could have got that. You could probably got could have got this one as well. I think a little bit too too scared. I think, but it's fine. I'm playing it. 
playing up like this, you're kind of opening yourself up to ganks, but you're playing Katarina, so it should be fine, right? But it's Vi. So far, so far, lane is kind of quiet, to be honest. It's like, it's fine. I just don't like where the wave is. Are you playing a little bit safe? When you move like move like that, make sure you don't miss any EXP. But you still got it. But, but be very, very careful, because I think you're close to missing it. Much it's much better to ward this this side because your jungler is already hovering this side, so he's he's gonna be the he's gonna be the ward for this side, right? So uh, if we place the ward here, we probably know if Vi's coming, and then we can just hug this side because that's where Bel Belveth is. But it's safe to assume Vi is on this side for sure. Yeah, I can split it in half and just try to play this side, right? So you don't die to the gank. You're doing great, doing great. That was really nice by you. I've seen that power. And now it's the opportunity for you to set up a freeze here. So yeah, I would definitely think about freezing the wave here and just holding it. Make sure, and then hopefully, a uh, jungler comes for a gank. I know he's bot side doing work, right? So he's not gonna. It's not gonna come anytime soon. It's fine. It's fine that I reset. It's like. This guy, this guy doesn't seem like he's gonna kill you anytime soon, right? So this lane phase is kind of like sleeper. We can't, we don't want him to do this though, right? We don't, we don't like it when he does that. That's a wave. You miss an entire wave for that back. Usually, you, you only miss like one minion, right? Or one or two minions if the back is proper. Try to keep that in mind, right? Like, when you push it in, you're not actually pushing it in. So far, so good. Can't say much about that. TP, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I think you could have used your TP for the fucking the wave before. You just don't, 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 don't let him do this, right? Because like that sets up the gank, right? This, this, the whole reason you die here is because this guy's doing this, right? And when you realize that he's doing this, you have to turn back and start striking him, right? You just. He just fuck. He just sets up the entire gank, right? So like, he keeps the wave frozen here. As soon as you come back, the jungler come again comes to gank you, right? Like this, this happens. This happens at Emerald, yeah, for sure. If you want to get diamond, you have to be able to avoid these spots, right? This is this is it right here.
This is so greedy by you, man. Never do this. Never do this again. What are you doing, man? Don't, don't, don't go in. Don't go. Oh, this dragon is so bad, man. Who, who called for this drink? Okay, when your when your team decides to do Drake like this, your immediate response is to help them. Shove the wave and go help them. You have to forego everything and and hopefully you guys win, right? Like don't go after the fact. You go now, right? You go now, you go now, you go now, go now, go now. You have to have the because this is one of those like quick you need to be here now. That's that's it. That that's it. You don't you don't go after your team dies. You anticipate them dying. You have to future sight it, right? It's just one of these like low ELO dragon takes that we we should just never do. Cause if we start this Drake, there's the the dragon's gonna be hitting one of us, right? So it's extra damage as much as an extra extra champion, right? So one, two, three. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a three v three v three with their bot lane and their jungle but it's gonna be the dragon hitting guys so it's gonna be like a 3v4 so when you you have to get there as soon as possible to make it a 4v4 and if Gnosis does come behind you and clean up which he probably will it's probably gg right but like it we have to adjust and and, and help right as as soon as possible this is such a bad spot man such a bad spot so troll by uh, your team so such a bad dra dragon, but you have to adjust, right? You have to help. You have to see that your low, your low teammates are playing like this, and then adjust. Here, here's like knowledge of the matchup, right? Like, it's obvious that um. You don't know that this guy can kill you like that and then you're playing a little bit too cocky too right here yeah, you probably thought you would live right but yeah um that's your fault it wasn't jungle fault and then you caused this too right so we're just giving free deaths now so I can understand, I can see why you guys are FFing, but hopefully, yeah, hopefully some of my advice helps, right? Good Roma like that, push it in Rome. Probably won't get the kill because of Swain. Swain's overpowered. I ban I was banning him in uh, low emerald, and then when when I got to high emerald, low diamond, I started banning fiddlesticks. But Swain is so annoying because you can't do much to him when he when he gets a little bit of a lead. A lot of champions just can't do much to him. I mean, yeah, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, hopefully, so, hopefully that some of that advice helps, but mostly I think your OPGG needs to look a little bit more differently with the more Katarina games, and then switch up uh, your runes and do a do a full full uh, search on every single Kater top Katarina player. I'm not, I I don't even want to review the the, the games where you're just inting, right? But hopefully, uh, my advice helps, man, and uh, hopefully I watch another. Another game soon, and uh, you'll you'll be uh, climbing out of Emerald Four. I mean, yeah, as soon as possible. Good luck on the rift.